Today we're sitting inside an Aussie Opus camper and as you can see it's a bit more luxurious than your normal camper. Um, we're going to give it a review and let you know what we think of it. Enjoy! One of the first things we did with our Aussie Opus camper is take it out on the dirt roads in the bushland behind us. It towed really well. Um, we've got a 1990 NG Pajero which doesn't have a, a lot of guts but it had absolutely no problems towing this great little camper. The drawbar on it is quite long compared to what we were used to so it made actually made it a lot easier for us to control and steer the actual camper itself. Um, the suspension didn't have a problem, rode nicely, wouldn't have even known it was sitting there behind us. Sat on the road beautifully whether it was a dirt road or when we headed out on the bitumen it just went perfectly. Um, as you can see here it just sits really well on the road. Um, doesn't move, doesn't rock and roll, doesn't do anything and keep in mind this wasn't loaded either. It was empty, it had no uh, gas bottles, no gear inside, nothing. So it was just completely empty and it didn't bounce around which we've found some other camper trailers can do. Now this camper has a tear weight um, of 990 kilos and an ATM of 1450 um, which is perfect for a four wheel drive like ours, ours can only tow up to 1500 kilos which can make sometimes choosing um, a camper trailer a bit difficult, especially ones that are over the 1500 kilo mark. The Aussie Opus actually has 7 leaf off road suspension and it also has 10 inch electric brakes with off-road magnets. The chassis is galvanised and the drawbar which I mentioned before is slightly longer than what we're used to um, is a 100 by 50 millimetre extended drawbar. The wheels and tyres are 15 inch alloy wheels with Dunlop all-terrain tyres. The box size of it is um, 2000 by 700 millimetres and the length from hitch to tail lights is 4900 millimetres. The tent size is 5750. So as you can see, it is a nice um, size camper to take out. Um, it, the only thing we did find with it, it did get a little bit fiddly to try and set up um, with everything sort of laying on top of the tables and chairs and, and the poles. Probably the first thing you notice when you walk into an Opus camper is this amazing leatherette lounge. It's very, very comfortable, um, sort of snuggle back. The TV actually sits right there, which is fantastic. Another great feature of this Aussie Opus is the indoor cooking facilities. As you can see, there's a two gas burner little stove here, which is always very handy when cooking. And if you look underneath down here, you can actually see everything's plumbed in. So all you have to do is hook that into there and you're ready to cook. On this side is actually a little sink very very handy as you can see it's quite compact so it doesn't take up a lot of room and is obtrusive in the van had the groovy little plug plug which the kids absolutely love and of course just up and down the great thing about all of this I believe is that it's all nice and flat you don't have bits and pieces sticking up everywhere so you get that little bit more extra bench space down below here you can see there's lots of areas um, to put all your food you can put all your cans or something in there when you're obviously not traveling there's cupboards and drawers down below which have got quite a lot of space as you can see so making camping that little bit easier and a little bit more glamorous the opus camper comes with two bed ends both are quite large beds which is very very comfortable they both have privacy screens which are easy to set up and of course if you just want a little break from the kids you can quite easily just sit them down Another great feature of this Aussie Opus camper is the skylights. There's actually four in total. There are two here over the living area and each of the beds have a nice big skylight over them. So if your child enjoys looking at the stars, it's the perfect one. The 
holes in the camper are actually very easy to move up and down. All you have to do is flick that, pull it up to the right length, and snap it down. And obviously, to pull them down, you just do the reverse. So down here, we have the controls for the water tank and for the 240 volt and the 12 volt. So to run the water, you obviously just turn the water on and off. And for your 12 volt, we just flick that on. And as you can see down here, the lights all come on. So it's a very, very easy system. The door on the Opus camper is quite simple. Basically, you just unzip the canvas. Maybe most of us will probably have to stand on the steps, such as Scott has just done. Fold the canvas back and you can just unlock the door. And one of the, um, I guess if you want to call it a fault we could find with this camper, is this bar here is to support the bed. And here is actually like a toolbox. And inside here is actually a fridge slide for your Waco or your Angle or whatever sort of fridge you've got. But you can't access it. The only way that you are able to access it is if you take the pin out and actually take this arm down to be able to get in, which we think is a little bit awkward, but it's not a huge deal. But yeah, it's just one of those little things that could probably become quite annoying after a while. So this is what you'd call the power station of the camper trailer. In here, we have a deep cycle battery for your 12 volt. And over here, we have the inlet for your 240 volt. And just down here is actually a little bit of a groove, which is where you'd put your electrical cable through. So you'd plug the cable in there, run that through there, and then shut it. All ready to go. So this camper actually comes with an Alco hitch, electric brakes, a handbrake, and an Alco jockey wheel. Okay, so here's your holders for your jerry can and the holder for your gas bottle and as you can see all the connections here are for it to be plumbed so you can run your gas stove. The Opus camper has four stabiliser legs and as mentioned before it has seven leaf spring suspension. Make sure you do slide the canvas in the slots when setting up. For us the pros were it's very comfortable easy to tow and at 2450 it's affordable. The cons were it's unable to access the fridge slide and can be a little bit fiddly to set up. Overall, we were very impressed with the Opus camper. It was very comfortable and as we mentioned earlier, it's a little bit more luxurious probably than your standard camper. Easy to tow, um, kids loved it, loved the privacy screens and we'd definitely recommend it. See you on the road.